What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle. We are against Amelia, rematch from the last Wi Fi battle. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's going to be in the description down below, so you guys go check that out. Um, Amelia brought a really cool team last time, and it looks like that's the case again this time. Uh, Zer Zero Aura, I almost called it Zoroark for some reason, but Zero Aura, oh, you now. That is cool. Zero Aura is already a Pokemon that I'm afraid of. Jolteon, we're both rocking the Jolteon. Another underrated team that Amelia is bringing. So that's very, very, very cool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start Victini and I'm going to U-turn out of there. Um, worst comes to worst, you start Zero Aura, then um, I'm, I'll probably go into Seismitoad. I don't know yet. So um, if you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, make sure you guys do so. Because we introduced a brand new team built around Victini. One of my favorite Pokemon, if not my favorite Pokemon of all time. I love Victini. Victini was actually one of my first Pokemon. Um, well, not necessarily because my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Yellow. But... Oh, I got a Fusion Bolt for this thing. We're feeling good! We're feeling really good. Um, Victini Correction was my first event Pokemon in Pokemon Black and White. Um, so, I love Victini with all my heart. Um, but anyways... Onto the battle. He has two bolts absorb Pokemon. So I kinda gotta be careful with the fusion bolt though. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit it straight up. I'm banded. I don't care. I don't care. I'm choice banded. You know what that means? That means we wreck havoc. That's what that means. Alright, so withdrawals. Probably knows that I'm bringing the bolt. Woo! The reeds! Okay. That's a bummer. That's the biggest bummer I've had in all bumming history. Okay, so we're gonna size Mateo here. Part of me wanted to bring in my own Jolteon, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it, because then one of them is gonna have to switch out no matter what. And I'm just not about that life. No, sir. Um, my Jolteon is bringing the Thunder Wave. Part of the reason I am bringing Thunder Wave on Jolteon is because back in Generation 6, and I say this like I'm an old man, but back in Generation 6, um, there was a lot of Dragonite running around. A lot. And I could do not. Like, a, a bunch of Dragonite. And, um... And it's multi-scale weakness policy Dragonite with Dragon Dance that would be all over the place. And the best way I would counter those would be by just Thunder Waving, Bolt Switching out of there to break the multi-scale, and then just... Just cripple it. That's it. That's all. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna Stealth Rock because... I really don't think Jolteon is going to stay in, and if um, Jolteon stays in, that's that's pretty ballsy. That's, uh, he, you must be kind of crazy if you stay in a Jolteon against my Seismitoad. Honestly, no way you're staying in. And if you do, I get caught off guard. I'm going to get caught off guard because no one stays in, the, um, no one leaves a Jolteon in a field again, Seismitoad. That's just, that's just suicide. Um, but... Here comes the free marina, which I'm cool with. I'm 100% okay with this because I'm gonna stealth rock here. Oh, can we go? Can we go? Um, can we just not lose a single battle with this team? That's all I'm asking for. That's it. No loot, no losses with this team because this this team is my heart. This team is my soul. I'm gonna Amoongus here, and I know free marina has the ice beam. Um, at least, yeah, I think it has ice beam, right? Yeah, a lot of water types have Ice Beam. So, I'm going to bring in Amoongus, and I'm going to switch back out. That's the, that's what I'm going to do. My Amoongus is Assault Vest, so I should be able to take an attack from this thing. So, all is good. We'll be okay. All right, here comes the Amoongus. Ooh, beautiful Amoongus. And you go... Si Did you read this? Are you reading me like a book? Okay. It's a good thing we're Regenerator, because we're going to switch out of here next. And, um... We're just gonna Jolteon. That's I, that's all I gotta do. That's, that's 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 all I can do. Switches out. Who are you gonna go out into? Print Urchin comes out. Come on, you're Surge, aren't you? You gotta be Surge. You gotta be Surgeon. Yeah, that you are Surgeon. Okay. Okay. What am I gonna do now? So take advantage of our Regenerator because Amoongus is way too um, valuable to us. This is an, this is an Electric Terrain team. And I am a little bit scared, if I'm being honest. Do I just Shadow Ball here? Yeah. We gotta get some damage on his team. Doesn't matter who it is, we gotta get some kind of damage out. 
that's the best that, that we got to do what we got to do you know I used to go to therapy as a kid and my therapist always told me you got to do what you got to do and that always gets me by always okay what are you gonna go for spikes Ooh, that is uh, a little worrisome a little bit what I'm gonna do because it's stab I'm just gonna Thunderbolt and I know it's not very effective but the terrain is up so that's all we're gonna do gonna do more damage kind of and you're gonna go scald okay I'm cool with that very cool with that what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do I just shadow ball because I, I I also want to have some kind I want to be prepared for success so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bolt switch and I'm gonna limit his switch capa capability by going into seismic so that's what we're doing that's a solid plan okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go with seismic toad here because now he cannot go into zero aura he cannot go into jolteon his terrainer uh his terrain setter is pretty much down and that's why i decided to bolt switch kind of limit the switches that this thing could go against us so that's pretty good okay seismic is not the bulkiest pokemon in the world unfortunately but um nonetheless one of my favorite pokemon so if you guys missed the last wi-fi battle you guys know that this team was built around to kind of mimic my generation one team because in my generate not my generation one that's absurd none of these pokemon were in generation one but um the reason i built this team is because this team was in all reality my team in pokemon black and white specifically pokemon black and white 2. um so i took pokemon that i use in black and white and then black and white 2 and kind of put them together and that's why you get this beautiful team right here so i love it i love it a lot okay so what are you gonna do prima arena is a little bit scary Very, a little bit scary um not so much i really do not want him to energy ball because i know prima arena gets energy ball how i have no clue but um we're gonna amoongus here we're just gonna amoongus you got, you got the energy ball i know you do Moonblast. Okay, I'm cool with it. 100% cool with it. And then I am afraid of the Psychic. So what I'm going to do... I have nothing that takes Psychic, unfortunately. So I have to let Amoongus do something here. So do I... I'm going to Giga Drain. It's Stab. Giga Drain is good. I don't think we outspeed, unfortunately. But if we do, then it's good. Obviously. Because we do not want Amoongus to go down. This is going to be, you know, even though the team... I think they might be around the same tiers, actually. Our Pokemon together. But it's still really cool. E.T. the alien comes out. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm a fan of your shiny BEM. I've never seen the shiny one before. That blows my mind. Okay, so this thing probably tells me it's Assault Vest. I think it's Assault Vest that that was a lot of that that was nothing that was not a lot of help that was nothing okay seismitoad is still very useful so i cannot just necessarily bring seismitoad out like that and just let him die that's just messed up if i do that <laughs> but what do i want to do is hexer is worth it to me hexer is still valuable to me it really is a lot of these pokemon are I mean, the less valuable one would be Halucha, unfortunately, so I'm just going to sack him off. That's all I can do. That's all. Okay, so we go into Halucha here. Halucha's going to go down to a psych... Ooh. What? What is this? Okay. We're in a bind. We're in a really big bind, and I cannot get out of this bind. What am I going to do? How do I stall out the trick room? The answer is I cannot. I can't stall it out. BM is just going to wreck my team. What is the... Um, how much... So, you got five rooms of trick room. This is turn number four. Ugh. I'm not, look I'm not liking the look of this. I really am not. I really am not. So what I do, ah uh, man, I need to rely on Haxorus and I need to rely on Seismitso to win it for us. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Iron Head. We're we're gonna we're gonna let Halucha go down. 
ET hits us with the Psychic, and look how fast that HP bar went down. We're, we're not living that. Oh, I think Amelia's gonna get their, um, is gonna get the revenge that, that she well deserves. I'm still like Jolteon, don't I? I do. I really do. I need all of these Pokemon in all reality, to be honest. And it's not like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just gonna jolty on here. Why? I, I have no idea why. I have not the slightest clue. I don't feel like I really need Jolteon. Once this trick room wears off though, we're good. Meteor Beam, please miss. I beg you, miss. Come on, I know you wanna miss. That's two Pokemon that she brings that has Meteor Beam. You gotta miss one of the two. Come on, it's only fair. Oh, I thought I, I thought it missed for a second. So special attack goes up even more. That's kind of messed up. This is gonna be the last turn of Trick Room. I gotta, I gotta Amoongus here. I have to. I have to Amoongus here. Okay. Do I outspeed? I mean, I have foul play, but foul play isn't going to do anything. Foul play is not going to do I'm just going to sledge bomb here. That's the best thing I can do. BM is going to knock me out, for sure. For sure. I can't necessarily set up against a Behem either. That's just not... I, I can't. I can't. Behem just wrecked us, bruh. Assault Vest, I'm pretty sure it's Assault Vest. Trick Room again? Did the, when did this happen? That's what I get for not paying attention. I did not see where it said that the Twisted Dimensions returned to normal. Oh my goodness, it, it's done. What? We're not taking, we're taking it! Okay. I'm cool with it. Because you're not at a plus one anymore. You're not that bulky. And I can't go into Seismitoad as much as I want to. Yeah, we're... That's it. That's it, right? We let Seismitoad go down. That's the play. Where's the Trick Room? Oh, wait a minute. Trick Room's gone. You can Trick Room out of Trick Room? That's cool. I didn't know that. I did not know that. So I, I think I let him... I still let Amoongus go down here. No doubt about it. No doubt. That's the best way to go around my Amoongus. Very well played. Very, very well played. Okay, a Psychic it is. I'm gonna go down. That's what has to happen if I want to win this. Next, I go into Victini. I U-turn into my Seismitoad. That's what I do. That is what we got to do to win. But then Pre-Marina is, the is in the position to beat us. Well, if we play this right, no. Technically speaking, so I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn out of there. I don't. I think I know what I got to do to win this, but this is gonna be a. This is gonna go down to the wire. It's a crit. It's a crit. That didn't matter. That didn't matter. Hey, you over there! It's a crit. My, my neighbors probably think it's a weird. It's. I'm. I'm a weird person. I kind of am. I like to think I am. <laughs> My girlfriend agrees with me. Probably because I'm a nerd or something like that, but I don't know. I'm just ranting. Okay. Again, I'm going into Seismito to them and my opponent switches. That's what we're doing. Because I do not want him to go out into... Um, you know, part of me thinks that this pre-marina is not running energy ball. So I have nothing to be afraid of. Who is this? Oh. Fancy. Um... I don't think I have anything for this. Scald. I mean, I can Toxic. Stealth Rock, Toxic, Scald. Yeah, here's what I'll do. I'm just gonna Toxic here. Some damage is better than no bad. I should've kinda Scald, I think. I think Scald would be a better attack. Okay, 
we're good so we're toxicking um that way we can whittle this thing down slowly but surely and this thing is probably packing the leaf blade probably packing the leaf blade i still need seismic toad man bruh i don't know what i'm gonna do with just two pokemon i do not know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna scald here i mean that's my best i can't really do much against this thing superpower is probably gonna knock us out here it does indeed and then what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna go into victini and i think we have to go for the v create we're gonna v create here i love this team that she brought against us it's very very cool okay maybe we u-turn will the u-turn be enough i do not want to risk the biscuit bruh i really don't I'm gonna be great here. I think I have to because U-turn is not gonna knock out. I know that for a fact. So be great it is. And we knock this thing out. And that's it for Lorantis. My attack, my speed, and my defense. Oh no. No, it's actually it's not my attack, it's my speed. Now we're the slowest Pokemon on the field. At least I assume. At least I assume. Um Man, I don't even know if I can win this. She still has three Pokemon. I have two left. I mean, the best way, I, the best thing I got is I can... Huh, I don't think I can win this. I really don't think so. It's going to be close, though. We'll try it out. We're going to try to win this. This is a really good battle. I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Zero Aura comes out. Okay. That's actually good for us, believe it or not. I know we're probably going to go down against the Zero Aura. Knock off. Okay. There goes our choice band. Okay. That's actually good because I can I can now go out into Haxorus and Dragon Dance. This is good. This is really good. The question is, can I live? I probably should have brought a Lumberry Haxorus too. Because Life Orb is just not gonna cut it for us. It's not. I'm gonna Dragon Dance here. And we're gonna we're gonna Earthquake to finish things. That's what we're gonna Yes! What? What just happened? <sighs> that mattered! That is rough. Get it? Because it's play rough? Okay. Earthquake and that's GG. We just won this. How? I have no clue. Zero Aura goes down. The Jolteon goes down. I think this is what I got. This is what I needed to get the sweep. Woo! That... Oh, my throat hurt from screaming like that. Wow. Wow, that mattered. Primarina comes out. Has to do what he has to do. I understand that. Can Earthquake knock out? Can Earthquake knock it out? Come on. Come on, Haxorus, please. Knock it out. That's game. Okay, assuming the Jolteon is not um, sashed. It was Life Orb. I think I saw the Life Orb on the Jolteon earlier. Yeah, that's game. Wow, that was... Uh, <laughs> this is why I love Pokemon. <laughs> you get the dice sometimes and sometimes you don't. In this case, my opponent didn't. I feel so bad. I feel so, so bad. Hey, you know what? As long as you have Victini, you always win. That's 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 rule. That's that's uh rule of thumb there. Okay, earthquake and that's good game. And it wouldn't it wouldn't matter if it was Sash because we got the um the South Rock up. Wow, Haxorus. Thank you so much for that Wi-Fi battle, and thank you, Haxorus, for being so clutch and dodging that play rough from the Zero Aura. Came down to the wire. That was a really, really good battle. But that's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. I appreciate you guys watching this. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. Comment down below for your vote of most valuable Pokemon MVP. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. That was really good. Amelia, thank you for that Wi-Fi battle once again. You guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you guys next time.